Hello again, my name is Anton, and today we are going to talk about machine learning and rock chips. Anyway, I already have several videos about computer vision on my channel, but today we will talk about LLMs on rock chips. We will focus on rock chip 3576 and rock chip 3588. I have both of these boards. Uh, this one was sent to me by guys from uh, Mechatronics uh, specifically for this video. And it's pretty nice board, so I maybe like uh, a little bit affiliated in this case, but I like this board. It's like uh, has passive cooling. Uh, it almost doesn't heat up during operations. So, and uh, Rockchip 3588, it's the board I brought to myself. And we will speak about uh, Rockchip architecture most. These two boards, they are a little bit different. For uh, 3576, performance is a bit less because it's simpler uh, CPU and GPU. And here is like the formal characteristics. Speaking about comparison of CPU and GPUs, they are already been done in different video. I don't want to duplicate it. I will put a link in the comments. So if you're in interested in CPUs and GPUs, just go there. I will just, uh, from my side, I will just mention that CPU configurations for different tasks are slower, like from 20% to 50%. And for GPU, it's the difference is uh, from two times to four times. Of course, RK 3588 is faster. Uh, the documentation almost everywhere says that both boards have the same NPU performance, but they don't, and it's pretty funny. I love rock chips for such surprises. Each board is a new like uh, is a new puzzle. Uh, thirty five eighty eight has three NPU models, and uh, thirty five seventy six has just two of them. And when I checked this, I was thinking, okay, this board will be slower. It's reasonable. But for LLM, 3576 is faster. Here is like my experiment with same request for the same network. As, and as you can see, it's 20% different in speed for such networks. I was not focused on speed in my comparison, just some brief understanding. Uh, if you want some tests for speed comparison for computer vision tasks, uh, please drop a few lines in comments and I probably will do this. What is other differences between 3576 uh, and 3588? Uh, 3576 is significantly cheaper for a uh, manufacturer who produce both boards, uh, for example, Mechatronics. Uh, the difference will be about uh, $40 uh, dollars, US dollars. Consumption, power consumption is significantly different. I haven't measured it myself, uh, so I will just leave this comparison like from official rock chip presentation. I don't know if it's true, but if it's true, then yes, this board is significantly more uh, efficient for this speed. I want to say a few co uh, words about how to install everything specifically for this board. Uh, you can install here like uh, Debian, like in 20 minutes, but you need a Windows uh, CPU, uh, Windows PC for this. Uh, it's pretty easy, you just install software uh, to flash your board, uh, because there is no like um, 
SD cards installation and so on. So you just flush from your software. Uh, there is no problems like Radxa has. Uh, Mm, however, Debian is not configured for remote connection to this board, so you need uh, some uh, mm, some screen, probably your TV or your PC screen, and uh, you need to connect and set up your Debian for connection. The default po password for uh, Blueberry is Blueberry, but uh, you will be like root without, uh, and you don't need even use sudo, it's just for the connection. So now let's talk about LLMs. In my opinion, it's most interesting part. Uh, the library is already like, mm, was released like half a year ago and I was planned a long time to test it. Uh, official library is this one and as always for Rockchip, it's not fully workable. Thanks God there is a fork from this library, this one, uh, and it's uh, fixed a lot of bugs. Not all of them, but it's like a good start. Uh, the library has two advantages. Uh, there is a script uh, that automatically customizes the board itself, uh, copies library files, copies the same as, uh, sample uh, right, runtime, uh, copies the example to the system directory, correct memory settings. Um, and the second advantage is uh, there is a Docker file uh, through which you can export models. But actually, in my opinion, it's not critical because this model export is pretty good uh, working. I had a few problems with dependencies on both of my boards and they was a little bit different. So even this library doesn't fix everything, uh, but it's pretty nice. Also, I found a trick uh, that uh, was maybe someone needed for big LLM models, you need uh, to increase your memory settings with this command. How do you get up your neural network running? First of all, configure the environment. Uh, you can use Docker on it uh, or through Python 3.8. Uh, you need to configure this on your host machine. Don't forget to install git lfs. Uh, download a repository uh, and just run the export script. It will work for all predefined uh, models. I think that it, it definitely will work with all forks of them, but maybe there are much more models that can easily be proceed. Um, after export of the model, you uh, download this model to your board uh, and just run. Uh, if you already uh, installed all RKNN dependencies on your board, you can run it uh, with simple command like RKLLM uh, and your model name. So. Uh, also, Rockchip provides Flask API wrapper, and of course, like if you just run model, it's not very nice. But with this Flask API wrapper, uh, everything is nice. You just uh, will serve your model and will have your result as uh, API. It's located here, and the problem is that you like in original repository and in this. Uh, uh, fixed uh, of original repository. Uh, this example doesn't work out of the box. Uh, there are a few problems. First of all, it's like not uh, everything is pre-built. Uh, second of all, like all parameters, they are a little bit uh, different. And uh, before running, you need to uh, disable uh, GPU during initialization. Mm. At least for me, it was important, uh, and uh, this is described in this issue. Okay, uh, I tested all neural networks that are available in official repository. 
and uh, it's a little bit sad, but uh, for specifically for 3576, most of them do not work. Probably it's just because of the memory, so maybe if you will take board with more amount of memory, it will work. Uh, maybe it's some features of this specific platform. And in the end, only two networks worked for me, like Quen and uh, this is the second one. Here is like the list why they didn't work and so on. In my opinion, speed of this Quen model is pretty nice. It's comparable with uh, latest like Jetson Nana or even Jetson NX and for them like Rockchip of course is more price efficient. For 3588 I tested all models and all of them are worked. So if you for you it's critical to use some specific model just uh, choose uh, 3588 and the probability that everything will work is much higher. Even like the latest Gamma V2 was successfully run for me. Other differences for uh, this board and 3588, I was not able to run uh, useful transformers uh, library for uh, this one uh, because this library is super nice. It has whispers that could run on your NPU. And uh, there is no pre-built wheel for 3576 and I was not able to build it myself. There was a strange errors and so on. So uh, if you need to work your LLM model with voice, probably look at 3588 or just use CPU version with 3588. It will be much faster as well. But anyway, for some tasks where energy efficiency is important and you can just take random LLM model, this board is pretty nice. Let me tell you my impressions from uh, LLM. It works and it's quite user friendly. Uh, out of the box, there is a complete export and launch process, but of course, there are a lot of uh, problems with code and issues from Rockchip. But anyway, you can make your own fancy LLM and run it on the edge with pretty small amount of problem. Isn't this cool? Speaking about specifically this board, 3576 impression, the performance look pretty decent. If you don't need powerful CPU for your task, just regular CPU, quite competitive anyway, it's, this board is nice. Uh, speaking specifically of this board that was sent for me, uh, the heat removal system is nice, it's nice connecting to everything. Uh, the only problem with it was like uh, installation of everything, but I don't think that it's a big problem. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have some ideas about comparison of these boards, uh, feel free and we'll, I'll meet you in the next video. Bye.